Do you speak English? Yes. Then he starts speaking Arabic. <laughs> video, video is not allowed. Wow, it is massive. Look at this. First impressions of Hurgada. People are friendly. It is hot out here. It's beautiful by the beach. But I've heard there's quite a few private beaches. There's definitely a lot more tourists out here though. Wow, this is even more expensive than that spot. Hello from Hurgada. I just got in yesterday and took it easy, kind of went out to eat and then went back to the hostel. But today I'm going to be wandering around, kind of exploring the city. It's quite hot. But yes, in Hurgada. So I'm walking over to the marina, which I have not been down to yet, but I've heard it's nice. First impressions of Hurgada. <laughs> First impressions, uh, people are friendly. It's beautiful by the beach. I haven't been down there too much though because it seems like there's like, it's somehow blocked off. I mean, I haven't investigated enough, but I've heard there's quite a few private beaches. And uh, yes, these private beaches owned by the hotel. So there's for sure some free beaches from what I've heard. And maybe I could just even go on to these private beaches. I feel like I would be stopped and asked though about my room number or something and I'm not staying in a hotel I'm staying in a hostel away from the beach so yeah if you're staying in a hotel that beach that you're staying at with the hotels you know you have access to it but not for the general public which I think is messed up as well you know people living here in Hergada locals they gotta pay to go to the beach so I heard of one beach orange orange beach I think that is free or less money. I don't know, we'll investigate further, but today I'm gonna grab some seafood, go over to the marina, and yeah, tomorrow I also have a tour. I'm happy, I'm a little vacation, gonna be fancy, you know. I normally don't take tours, but I'm taking a tour today, or I mean tomorrow. So yeah, all right, let's continue walking. We are with you. Everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hello, YouTube. Hello, world. <laughs> There's definitely a lot more tourists as well. Where is the marina? Hmm. Salam alaikum. It's a famous marina. Hena, tamam, shukran, ma salama. Great. So, this way. <laughs> There's definitely a lot more tourists out here, though. It's visible, not like in Cairo, where unless you're in a touristic area, like a monument or a museum or something, you're not going to see that many foreigners. Um, but here in Hurgada. They're everywhere. I was like, Penny. Yeah, I speak English. So in the photo. Okay, now you're speaking Arabic to me. Ah, yes. oh, ah, oh, and they call me on YouTube. So yeah, where from? Uh, US. America. America. Are you? Uh, okay. Where are you? Mostly. Yeah, Dude, I'm like, can't hear that well. And he's just talking quickly. Like, what? Do you speak English? Yes. Then he starts speaking Arabic. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Hergada Marina. Can I film? 
if I see anything about not filming. Salam alaikum. Just photos. Yeah. Marina? Well, that's bullshit. <laughs> Whatever. I'm still filming. They can come and tell me to stop if they don't like it. Uh, here we are in the marina. It's very windy. Wow, the color of the water is beautiful. Ah. Look at that. Wow, that is gorgeous color. So either it is cooler today or I am just less hot because I'm wearing less. When I came in on the bus, I was dressed now how I normally dress in Cairo, you know, like kind of shorts below the knees and stuff. But now I brought my summer beach stuff, which is more well, less conservative, I guess you could say. Um, you know, <laughs> I got my little shorts. This dress is just blowing open. Oh, feels great though. Love the breeze. So this is very quiet, all these restaurants along the marina now, but I imagine at night it's pretty busy. Maybe I'll come back at night and film. Hmm. I'm thinking of getting some seafood, maybe some calamari. I mean, anytime you're by the sea, me living in Cairo, of course, I have to go get some seafood, some fish, some shrimp, or calamari. Wow, this water, I can't get over the color. That boat looks like it should be in a James Bond movie. Right? <laughs> So yeah, for Hurghada, I don't know that I, I don't think there's much to do here if it's not sea related. You know, it's all like snorkeling or scuba diving or swimming, hanging out on the beach. They have some islands, the Gifton Islands are quite popular. That's where I'm going tomorrow on this tour is the Gifton Islands, Orange Bay. There's also Paradise Bay. There's quite a lot of islands and options for these tours. I was going to try to maybe like talk to a local fisherman, get him to take me out to the islands, but it seems like a lot of work and actually probably would cost around the same amount of money. So I'm doing the tour. Yeah, free lunch, soda. I don't know, we'll find out. <laughs> but yeah, outside of uh, the sea related activities, I don't think there's a whole lot happening in Hurghada. So unless you're if you don't like beaches, maybe don't come here. There's no like ancient ma monuments or sites. People take day trips to Luxor or even Cairo um, if they fly, which is expensive. But yeah, outside of the sea, just relaxing at restaurants, eating and hanging out at the beach. So very like vacation mode for me, which is nice for a change. <laughs> okay.
Salam alaikum. Ah, shaka. Nice day. When Okay, well, it looks like we've reached the end of the marina here. Let's circle around, see what's on the other side, and find some seafood. Okay, do not pass. Oh, I think there might be more military over there. Let's not go that way. Um, I'm gonna go find some seafood. I don't think you guys need to see the same view I just walked from. <laughs> So I think I'm going to try out Luca's Bar. It's an English pub, but maybe they have some fish and chips. I know, I shouldn't get that, I should get something different. We'll see, we'll look at the menu. Cocktails 140. Burgers. Very expensive burger. Starters. Wow. I don't really love that. There's not a lot of shade there. Maybe I'll sit inside. Or maybe I won't eat there. I don't know. These guys yelled at me when I was walking by just now. I think I might go look at their menu. I'm not super impressed with that one. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Let's see what you guys got on the menu. Wow, wow, wow. So these are more expensive than the other spot. Mm. A lot of drinks, huh? Where's the food? Fina Ekl. Ah. Whoa. 600 for a burger or something? Well, this is even more expensive than that spot. I think I'm going back. These guys are bored. <laughs> All right, the English pub it is. I don't know the quality of any of this food, to be honest. Hopefully it's good, because I'm spending money. Well, they have a vegan roast available. Look at this place. I like the shade. I could sit here. Yeah. Okay, so I have ordered the fried calamari. You see that? And a pina colada. Like I said, vacation, splurging. <laughs> and I think I'm going to... Oh, no! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Sunglasses. Eh? You can make it uh, Oh, we're lucky. Wallahi, so much nice. I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going this is the name of 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 the name 
Ah. النهارده ما جاش. يا. ممكن let me think about it. شكرا. Okay, so he's saying it's like from yesterday or the day before yesterday. My Arabic is. Hmm. I have to decide to come back. So, change of plans. I am now getting the fish and chips. But they have all sorts of stuff on this menu. Maybe I'll throw it in this video so you can see. But I definitely want some seafood. Maybe I'll get some wine. They have... It's nice to be able to have a drink outside. It's not very common in Cairo. The bars are inside, blacked out windows, at least in downtown Cairo and the places that I frequent. I don't know about Madi, because Madi is hmm, kind of an affluent neighborhood, lots of expats and yeah, but I never hang out there. So for sure in downtown Cairo, there's not really a lot of outside seating. Ah, I'm sure <laughs> okay. <laughs> and yeah, I miss just having, just sitting outside in a cafe, having a breeze and having a drink. So it's nice to be in Hurghada for that reason alone. <laughs> Two sixty-five. That is a lot. This was one forty, even the pina colada. <laughs> okay. Well, let's wait for it to arrive. And see you then. All right, it has arrived, and wow, it is massive. Look at this. <laughs> and they serve it with the vinegar. Actually, I don't know how the British eat this fish and chips, <laughs> but they have tartar sauce, which I enjoy, so yes, because <laughs> I asked for more. Shut up. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's try it. Wow. <laughs> Normally try to get like fresh fish grilled. You know, I wanted the calamari, but here we are. I got fried fish. Mm. It's like a massive pancake of fish. That breading is thick. So, yeah, I just came down to the Medina, found this place. The uh, waiter was telling me that the Sundays are very busy because they have Sunday roast. Hi. So, I don't know. There's tons of options down here. But, yeah, looks amazing. You know, this guacamole. Oh no, that's not. That's m peas. Mashed peas. I forgot. British eat that too. <laughs> I've never been to England. But um, these fries look okay. Maybe some salt. <laughs> yeah, definitely use salt. Anyways, yeah. So this is delicious. Um, I ordered a water, I'm sure that's gonna cost like 25, pina coladas 140, and the fish 265. I spent a lot of money here, but vacation, 
treat yourself. <laughs> so, all right, guys, thanks for taking along, checking out the marina with me. I am going to be in Hurgada for a while, so watch out for the upcoming videos with the tours and all that jazz. I will see you on the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe.